On this episode of Zero to 60 TV by LeafCars.com, we've gone back in time to bring a Toyota 4x4 into the present for you. Now what you see here is a 1988 Toyota 4x4 extra cab in Marty McFly livery. Now although the truck featured in the classic movie trilogy over three decades ago was actually a 1985 model, this 88 version is pretty much the same truck, just a bit newer and minus the tube style bumpers, custom wheels, and off-road lights on the front. Joining me today on Zero to 60 TV is the owner of this amazingly fresh, classic Toyota truck, Tommy Pomito. Tommy, thank you for bringing uh, this awesome truck to us here at Lee Toyota. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for having me. So, Tommy, when people see your Toyota truck here, what's usually their first reaction? Uh, usually it's, hey, that's the Back to the Future truck, or, uh, hey, are you Marty McFly? <laughs> Well, uh, how long have you owned this Toyota truck? It's a 1988, so how long have you had it? I uh, had it going on about four years now. So what's the first thing you did when you went out and you bought it? Uh, me and my girl threw a couple of sleeping bags in the back, drove it to the lake, stared at the stars all night. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> Perfect truck for doing that too, huh? Yes, sir. So Tommy, take us back to 1988 with this truck when it was new. Uh, what are some of the features that made this generation of the Toyota 4x4 you know, so popular back in the day? Well, this particular truck has the 3.0 V6 liter engine. Um, there was a 2.4 liter four cylinder that was available. So how much the horsepower do you know, you know back in the day when this was fresh, that v, was that V6 pumping out? Uh, this was rated at about 145-ish. But what about the stance of this thing? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's got a really aggressive look, and I think that's what really appealed to a lot of people. Uh, it's got great ground clearance. Is that is that the factory uh, lift or ground clearance, or did you do that? No, it is. That's, that's factory. I get asked that question a lot. Is this truck lifted? And I say, no, this is the factory. And we were talking about, you know, obviously, when it comes to the, the Marty McFly edition that um, was made famous in the movies, that truck had, you know, custom uh, wheels on it. But this one has the original factory Toyota steel wheels, right? It does, it does. We've got the manual uh, four-wheel drive lock-ins. You have to get out and manually lock your four-wheel drive in. See, probably no, nobody know, uh, remembers that now, right? <laughs> Everything is electronic. Everything's uh, automatic now, yeah. So, and, and what about the, um, you know, the, the KC lights? Uh, and your roll bar back here. I mean, so that was already in the truck when you bought it? Uh, it was, but I think that's where people uh, see this and they think of the Marty McFly truck because it's black, uh, it's got the roll bar, the KC lights, the mud flaps. And the mud flaps, I mean, those look like the original mud flaps because that's what his truck had in the movie. They probably are. Four wheel drive, Toyota and the white lettering. Let's mention too, you know, this is the extra cab. Uh, so that's also what makes it kind of the Marty truck because you could get, have the regular cab. They had a long body version, but you know, yours is the extra cab with that little bit of extra space. But right behind the C pillar here, what does it have that Marty's truck also have? Yeah, the sliding rear window. Yeah. Sliding rear window, got to have that and your, your truck has it. So inside, again, stepping back into 1988, we're going back several decades. Uh, what are you going to find in the interior of a 1988 Toyota Extra Cab? Uh, this particular truck has the five-speed manual transmission. Uh, came with cloth seats. Like a lot of vehicles back, back then did, either cloth or vinyl. Right? Back in the day, yeah, <laughs> that was, you know, that's, that's what they had. Uh, the manual cranks, when my kids first got in this truck, they didn't know how to put the windows down. They had never seen that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, even, hey, check it out. Yep. A cigarette lighter. You don't see that too often, do you? <laughs> I thought that's where you plug in your USB accessory. That's, <laughs> what is that? You got your uh, switches for your KC highlights on there, right? Yeah. When the covers are off, man, you can really light up a, a field, you know? Now, when you bought the truck a few years back, 
um, you know, what's been your experience with it? Has it been a good four by four, you know, for, for your purposes? Uh, yeah, Mark, this truck, um, it shines in the trails, man. It just, it loves being on the trails, but I, I've been in some precarious situations where I had a hard time getting out of certain situations. It's kind of, I don't want to beat the truck up in the woods. Yeah, you know it's too I mean? nice. Yeah, it's too but, nice. Uh, yeah, she loves the trails, that's for sure. And then I guess uh, either, did you do this or the previous owner, did you uh, put some of the rhino lining on like the mirrors and the lower body parts just to protect a little bit or the, or the, the bed? The previous owner had the rhino lining done and it's a nice touch. Now the original Toyota truck used in the 1985 Back to the Future movie sadly was destroyed after filming. But a second version of the truck appeared later in Back to the Future 2 and 3. In fact, the movie truck was later stolen and then recovered some years later in Mexico. And in 2012, Universal Studios finished a full restoration of Marty's truck and put it on display along with a restored DeLorean. And just in time for the original movie's 30th anniversary in 2015, Toyota produced a one-off promotional version of the current generation Toyota Tacoma, featuring an all-black exterior, KC highlights, custom tube bumpers, mud flaps, and factory TRD off-road wheels and tires. So while finding a classic Marty McFly Toyota truck for the 1980s might be a bit of a challenge, you can order up your own Toyota Tacoma now from Lee Toyota in Raleigh and ask them to customize it to your own style. They've got a ton of awesome accessories and parts and just the right folks that know how to get them installed on your rig. So go to LeafToyota.com if you want to learn more about how to accessorize your rig. And if you have any more questions or comments about this video, post them below. For Tommy Pomino, I'm Mark Arson. Thank you for watching Zero to 60 TV by LeafCars.com.